excited about how the roster is continuing to be built. Free agency. The message that that's sending to our fan base, the message that that's sending to our team, our coaching staff, that we mean business. play for the Panthers. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? What are the options? 50, 530, 9, 435. So Frankie's going to get his citizenship and he has to take a test. And the test is all about American history and civics. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Hee <laughs> hee. Chugs. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let's go. Where can you fill some holes in free agency? Last year, the ability to re-sign a, a Frankie Louvu, who oh, they got on a pretty good deal the first time around from the Jets. Can you find some diamonds in the gems like you did with Louvu a few years ago? Everything we've done the last couple of years is build the defense, build the offensive line, so we, when we get to that position, we can drop someone in. We're in that position right now. It's been a real collaborative and great process between Scott and I and, and Mr. Tepper. If you're going to go with a young quarterback, you know, you have to have a running back. You have to have the tight end. You have to have the receivers. We feel like we have the offensive line. Can you find some key pieces that can come in and make an impact? Experience, veteran leadership, a winning pedigree. So what do you think of our interior offensive line right now? The way we ended the year last year, the way Camp had those guys going, and just watching Bozeman on tape over the years, I mean, you could just tell he's got leadership. You can, you can see he's got fight to him. So, you know, that's a guy, right, I'm excited that you get him back. It's a really tight group. You know, they work well together, communicate well. You know, we get one of these young guys, develop them, but I think that's a pretty solid group that we have. Oh my gosh, that looks unbelievable. So, you know, free agents is starting today. Um, you've already agreed to terms with Carolina, you know, it's so excited. Uh, so we came here to celebrate today and sign tomorrow, I think 2.30. We just, we couldn't be happier. Knock, knock. What's up? What's up? He was one of the reasons why our running game vastly improved. Just the way he plays, he's, he's a leader on the offensive line. When Bose's name got brought up and, you know, we're like, hey, we're, we're number one. We, this is a guy we need. He's a leader. He's an alpha. That's what you need from that center position. We're so excited to get that guy back. He means so much to, to us as a team, not just the player, but the person. Two months, yeah. Yeah, right at two months yesterday, I think. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate it's good it. to have you back. Oh, so good to be back. <laughs> so good to be back. Gosh. Do I have a package? I mean, the first thing I see is um, there's a game ball for my son with his birth weight and his his height and, and everything else and his name on it. And it was sitting right next to my game ball, and I thought it was just so special. Nikki, did you see this? That would be perfect in his room. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's pretty special. Um, it's, it's really special. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to, to see his, his journey and how, how he takes on life and to hopefully bring him along my journey a little bit. And Do you feel like this year's going to be even more special? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, that's, that's what I do this for. Um, I do it for my, for my family, for my future family. You know, that's what I've always, that's been always my driving force. So, uh, man, you're making me get emotional with that question. Um, but um, that's, that's what I do it for. So it's absolutely, this year's gonna be special. Be able to get him down on the field and hold him on the field. Uh, we did a little photo shoot this uh, off season for his newborn uh, photos and had the, my jersey draped over his back and I was just bawling like, <laughs> like a baby. Um, just cause it's, that's what you do it for. You, know, you do it for your family, so yeah. I mean, obviously there's been a lot that's happening. 
since really January, uh, draft meetings, then into the pro free agent meetings, then to the combine, then to pro free agency, back with the draft meetings. It, it, it's been a grind. But when you're doing something with an organization, you're turning that page. It's hard, it's, it's not an easy process. And it comes down to having the right people in the building, the right mindset, the right vision. These next two are the next two in line yeah. for us, yeah. like as far as the like I, love, I love Miles Sanders. Can run inside, outside, he's good at all schemes. This guy's only 25. Has good vision, balance, body control. Philly afford to bring him back. <laughs> Acceleration in the hole. <laughs> They're going to keep him, aren't they? Sources say Miles Sanders, the former starting running back for the Philadelphia Eagles, has landed with the Carolina Panthers. He's really, in a lot of ways, a complete back. I love this guy. He runs his ass off. Go. There you go, Miles. There you go, Miles. I love that signing. A running back, a good player, obviously, as a runner, but also can catch the ball out of the basket. I like Miles Sanders. Power. Explosion. Good. Hopefully, whoever comes here just knows it's time to work. <laughs> We're not rebuilding nothing over here. We're trying to get straight to it. I'm good, man. I'm good. It's the big, just the big office. Here, go ahead. Frank, go ahead. Oh, man. Well, what do you think? I love it. I, I feel that I want it, and. I know you guys love the way I play. Y'all love my game, and I'm just I'm ready to put it on the show. Put on the show. Dude, Deuce couldn't say enough good things about you. Yeah, yeah, that's my dog right there. He gonna get it out of me too, so <laughs> that's why them indies, them indie periods. But right? yeah. What what makes him so good? Um, just his passion for the game. Simple. I mean, everybody see how much he cares about this stuff. Um, he gets into tears when he when he you know how that's how passionate he is. He's also <coughs> physicality too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves that too. He's yeah. all about physicality. Don't run out of bounds, Miles. I already know. <laughs> I'm already done. <laughs> that's coming. You know that's coming. Yeah. We were talking about that as much, just catching more balls. You know, he had what fifty you said fifty mm -hmm. years ago. At fifty that's a big part of this. Yeah. Yeah, I would love, I would love to showcase that part of my game. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Try and be best I can be for y'all, best running back in the league, all that. Um, be yourself. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. Most You're importantly, it was just just trying to win. Just trying to win. That's the most important. Y'all gonna find that quick about me. Yeah. Team guy, I'm really just trying to win. Being in the playoffs. And last year, I, I wanna have that feeling again. Can you show the big guys, please? They look great. Come on now, I need an answer. How the f you get mic'd up now? We already look, I got a whole group of people hating me already. Can you hear us? Yeah. Hey, make sure you put that camera angle wide. <laughs> <laughs> Some news out there, the Panthers, they're Good. signing former Saints tackle Shy Tuttle, three-year deal. Shy's big guy, big boy. I was about to fart, but you ain't want that. I always breathe <laughs> Bro, I'll hit you in your face. My bad. Hey, coach, I'm mic'd up today. So you actually might do something? Hey, this is our uh, D-line coach right here. He's pretty much <laughs> I've never been mic'd up before. How about we practice one bag at a time? Go back. What? Yeah? Hey, he just. You want to play? You want to see me do this? I want to see you do it better than what you just did. <laughs> you can't coach everybody hard and then somebody I coach didn't you. I know. I'm not getting upset. Okay. You see how his hips turn that way? Yeah. You're still going that way. I'm trying to flip my hip. You can slow it down. That's what it's for. Ryan looks so cool. Look at him. He unfazed. Shaq. No. I'm just trying to start. Great tempo, man. What a learn from a day. Oh, you learning. Hey, Timo, 
Great job on this one. Great job, man. This is hard headed. D line on two. D line on two. One, two. D line. That's better. That's better. The off season is my busy time, both with, you know, immediately when the season ends, you know, especially this year, we had a coaching search. Free agency is really about fit. Do they fit your culture and do they fit your scheme? It's an exciting time for me to be able to help the team to add impact players to our roster. Where it looks like the Carolina Panthers are set up to do some damage, I like the moves that Carolina's made in the You enjoyed Carolina so far? Oh, yeah. I lived there for 13 years, so I raised my children there. It's crazy. Let's go young with the players, but let's have an experienced staff who's been through the battles, seen the wars. They're both very important. You know, Dan is the guy that I can ask any question. I know I'm getting an honest answer. I mean, the guy cannot lie. He's really good at what he does. And Samir is the guy, like, brutal honesty. He's another guy. We work well together. We offset each other. We have different personalities, different styles, but it, it seems to work for us. Right here. Hey, we're gonna go about five, five, seven. This is the A team right here. <laughs> the A team. Frank, what to you makes a good veteran backup quarterback? First of all, you got to be able to play and win. You know, is it a winning backup? Can he play winning football? Then secondarily, right, it needs to be the right guy who can, who can help a guy, not help coach. He already has coaches, but just the right chemistry in the room. Like this guy's a leader. Again, like. Kind of bridge guy, like teach our young guys what it looks like. But everything I hear about him is like great locker room guy, great leader. He's been fairly healthy and durable, and it looks like he's still moving good. Right, middle. Yes, Andy, that's perfect. That's perfect. You know, we brought a guy that we wanted to say, hey, this guy is going to help support this quarterback for the next number of years. But make no mistake about it, Andy Dalton was brought here to win football games. You know what I mean? He's brought here to win football games. Frank and I have had a relationship for a while, and so you know, he's a big part of why I wanted to be here. I feel like I've, I've tried to play for him a couple of times, so to finally get this opportunity, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, how's it going? Doing well. Hey, yeah, Andy Dalton. Yeah, nice to see you. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Great to see you. How was the trip in? It's been smooth. Yeah, Good. easy. New Orleans isn't too far from here. You got a uh, special pickup service at the airport. That's right. You know, had uh, I was hoping he was going to be driving the car and everything. <laughs> Good to have Josh there. You know, it was, uh, all right, let's we'll sleep on it and see how this thing goes. I know. And then, <laughs> I know. There was a moment that <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was concerned. Right. I but, was concerned. Uh, probably the, probably the, uh, that other team helped us, right? Yeah. That other team uh, that came into the equation probably. For sure made it easier to sit on it for another night. Absolutely. Kind of think it through. Absolutely. Um, That's the process of it all. You never know how it's going to go. Every negotiation is touch and go until, you know, the paperwork is actually signed, especially during the negotiating period where it's essentially three days where anything can happen. Another team can jump in. But I know there were other teams interested in Andy Dalton. I was talking with Josh and it was just like, we're all going to pray tonight and we're all going to end up together tomorrow or it's not going to be what it's supposed to be. And so I'm glad we're all sitting here right now. So. I played three more years at two other teams, but we kept this home base. Yeah. And then when I retired, we kept this home base. And we lived here 13 years. We're so excited. Well, one thing leads to another, and I know. now you're the head coach for that Panther on your, uh, <laughs> on your shirt. Where can you fill some holes in free agency? You can always upgrade at wide receiver. Certainly last year we saw there was a need for a pass-catching tight end. A lot of options on the open market. Let's go to Hayden Hurst. Yeah, former first-round pick, traded to Atlanta and then signed with Cincinnati uh, last March. Um, he's a complete Y, good athlete, good hands, passing game instincts, um, good production. Uh, and then you like the toughness and the competes in the run game. So I thought he was a really good combination of in both phases. He just knows how to get open, knows how to play the game. He, he's competitive, he's tough. Um, how many catches did he have? 52. He did. So he's the 50 catch guy. <laughs> That's what he has been that before, so. Okay. Um, Look at Let's watch this guy. And the pass is caught, and that's a first down. And picked up a lot more than is Aiden Hurst. Two key ways to be a playmaker, right? You can do it with speed down the field. Aiden Hurst goes upstairs.
We've had a lot of catch and run, so to be good in space, to be good after contact are big ways to get first downs. Hello, man. How are you doing? Excuse me. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Welcome. Happy to be here. Fired up. You look good, man. You look good. Yep. Yeah. Well, listen, you got a second we can come on and sit down for a few minutes? Yes, sir. All right. Let's do it. After you. After you. I want to come in and dominate. I want my presence to be felt, you know, by the other teams. That's what I did in Cincinnati last year. I just played free, played fun. That's just the type of guy I am. You know, I, I want to make sure teams feel me and they have to game plan for me. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Hayden Hurst, love that as a pass catching tight end. Von Bell. All around a, a very strong safety overall. The defense go crazy. I've been watching from afar for years, especially Shaq. It's such a team first move that he did. Shoot, I'm a big loyal guy, so I stay with my brothers. You know what I mean? I definitely want to win a Super Bowl, but I want to win one with them. Shy Tuttle, Deshaun Williams. Depth and productivity at defensive tackle. Free agent wide receiver Adam Thielen announcing on Instagram that he is joining the Carolina Panthers. Adam Thielen's one of the great route runners in the NFL. He's going to be a great help to that receiving room and to a young quarterback. You gotta have pieces and gotta have experience. Guys that have caught balls in the game and made plays in the game. There's a lot of ways to get chunk plays, but you can't coach speed. Done? Yeah. You got Chark? That's great. What can we expect with DJ Chark? Man, when he's healthy, I think he can be a beast. More pieces, more pieces, more pieces. When I'm having fun, it's when I play my best. They had depth on the O line. Was it Justin McCray? No, new one here. It's all about having playmakers. Hopefully I bring a little bit of that physicality from up north, continue doing what I'm doing. I wanted to be a part of a plan and a process to win a championship. Terrific additions in free agency. I think they'll be a factor immediately in the NFC South. If it pops, we'll all be excited about it. I'm just a passenger on the ship. It's like a cruise ship though, it's not like a little boat. It's, a, it's exciting. You get buffets and all that. They got I think it's CJ, huh? Yeah. I got I got call him. <laughs> <laughs> I got call him. That's a conversation between y'all two. Just transaction. That's a conversation between y'all two. Like I said, like that's, that's out of my so another signing the Carolina Panthers uh, made was defensive tackle Deshaun Williams, a Clemson Tiger, back here in the Carolinas from Daniel, South Carolina. Smart move by the Carolina Panthers to bring a veteran presence. Thank you. Good to meet you. See you. you too, man. Thank you. The people that know my journey, they know, shoot, I've been cut 10 times working at Amazon. That saying, keep pounding, it affects anything in life. It just ain't football, it's just life. You know, keep going. Don't stop, never quit. Because you never know it could be it on the other side of that tunnel. And that's what I did. I just kept pounding, and now look, now I'm here. Nah, I really am, like, a Panther through and through. Like, you no, know, it was, a, uh, I guess, the 10 year anniversary. I named prior by a good 15. Stephon, Spartanburg legend, Jenkins, Steve Smith, Sims, Deshaun Foster. I want to be Deshaun Foster so bad. I like, they got a dark fire. I don't want to be just like them. Not too many people can say they play back at their home team, man. And this is it's home. It's home. I'm big on proving myself right. You know, I'm not the tallest, I'm not the biggest, but what you get out of me is somebody that has leverage, quickness, is going to give effort and do my part. I'm big on me, you know what I mean? You don't you don't have to like me. I don't have to fit your prototype defensive tackle. I know what I can do. And, you know, I'm going to show it in practice and show it on games. My life coming full circle around and coming back home and playing for the home team, man, it's, it's amazing. I'm happy to be back, man. This is dope. This is dope. This, this is dope. This is dope. Fostering what you've done with all the veterans is set up for a rookie to succeed right away. That's, that was the intention behind a lot of what we did, you know, to give those guys the weapons they need to be successful. Like I said, we like our offensive line. To bring in a Miles Sanders, not only is he a good runner, but he's a good receiver out of the backfield, so he's the outlet. Hayden Hurst going down the seam, you know, great hands. It's, uh, it's a dimension that we're adding to our offense because Frank uses the tight end so much. To have Adam Thielen, who can separate quickly, Terrace Marshall, LaVisca, that's a really good group to surround a young quarterback with, and uh, he's got playmakers now. Yes, sir. Ready to roll? Yeah, good weekend. Got that, uh, got that hot mic today, just so you know. 
<laughs> so if you got anything to get off your chest, let me know. <laughs> Two teams that offered me a rookie minicamp invite, and one was Carolina Panthers and one was the Minnesota Vikings, so uh, life comes full circle. Yo, I got that hot mic today, I'm trying to get DJ. <laughs> if there's a place I would go, it's this place. Couldn't be more excited. What up, bro? You get that mind right today. Yeah, that's the people pleaser. <laughs> you look like you're chilling today. You look like you're going there to chill with them socks on. <laughs> hey, Coach Jefferson borrowed you them socks. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here we go. Lock it in. Lock it in. Dang it. I'm a little tight. <laughs> So basically, I'm gonna get this route right here. Bye -bye. Hell yeah. I scored against the Panthers on that route. Yeah, did you? Yeah, yeah in the end, you. corner of the end zone. <laughs> I want hold you. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm competitive now because we're in this competitive stage of it, right? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I had that mindset. Huh? I had that mindset. Yeah, that's what I told you earlier. You made mistakes, it is what it is. It's about the mentality, man. Yeah. You guys got to skills about the mentality. Yeah. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you went undrafted? Yeah. Mindset. What year is this you? 11. Had to be a mindset. Now, talent yeah. plays a part in it, too. Yeah. But just think about how many guys they drafted to take your position, man. You can feel good about it going home at the end of the day when you give it your all. It don't matter what. It's not about the results, you know what I mean? You go out there and you give it your all, you can feel good about it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Have a day, bud. You definitely don't want to see me on the street ball court. Go crazy. Dang, bro. Got me tired. Woo! It working today. I'm on the bed on the brink of throwing up for about 10 minutes now, so. Oh, you would do that. You nasty. That camera right on you, too. That's on you. Go, so, babe. Here we go. Keep it rolling. Treat it like a game, fellas. Treat it like a game. It'll get you better. Go, so, babe. <laughs> Woo! Got them all turned around there. Good job. I love that route. Good timing. The guy that's so savvy like that that knows how to separate. And then we also want his influence in the locker room. He's such a leader. Just keep doing your thing. Whatever they call for you, make it most of it. I was really impressed with the guys. There's so much command and respect that he's what our team needs right now. Keep competing. Keep competing. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Great resource right here, Theo. He's, a, he's an open encyclopedia. I, I, if I was young guys, I'd pick his brain every time I get it. Shoot, I'm learning from y'all too, though. I'm learning from y'all. We in this yeah. together. Yeah, good work. Keep stacking. Yep. Blessed on three. One, two, three. Bless. The players are back in the building for OTAs. Some old and some new faces. Panthers have addressed a lot of their needs with free agency. They still have the draft. The house isn't built, but the foundation looks pretty good. I don't know if I've ever had an offseason with the Carolina Panthers where I felt this optimistic. Because What's happening? I, I don't see a lot of holes right now on the team. As this offseason goes through stages, you, you sign the free agents. Oh, wow. We just did a whole lot more than I thought we were going to be able to do. This isn't the first time we've been through this. It's normal to get excited, love our roster, love where we're at. But we got a lot of work to do, and we got a lot to prove. Offensively, they've added some really key pieces in free agency. I think they'll be a factor immediately in the NFC South. This division is ripe for the taking, not just in the short term, but for the next five years. They got a great coaching staff, great young players, and a mix of veteran players here. I'm here to try to win a championship, and I know that was the vision of this coaching staff, and that's why I'm here.